hello friends in this video i am going to show you about the dynamic field values i mean to say everyone knows what is the use of field value what is the purpose of field value how can we use it that field value in pega but uh, in this video i am going to show you uh, dynamic field value i mean to say the field value will be generated dynamically okay so as usually i have a some insurance claim case uh, just click on save and run uh, i'm just I, ha I just have a one section that's it i just have one section in this section as usually i'm capturing some details okay um, for example the section uh, looks like like this okay and in this section i have a one table just one table or one grid if you want you can just open a live ui mm, open this section and you can see for more details inside this section i just configured one table the table source is one report definition table source is one report definition um, <clears throat> okay and i have configured some fields country id country name country code etc so the moment when you click on this details the moment when you click on see this one country id country code etc the moment when you click on details now here details of the country is uh, details of the country is i want to display this country name here for example i clicked on portugal the details of the country portugal is uh, when i click on syria details of the country syria is how can we achieve this in pega okay so um, here come to that section here i have implemented a local action just on a button click on a button click i just created a local action I just created a local action as usually model dialog and my just local action name is a c action just local action name is c action now see this is the class name is sba apple data country class why because this is a table right this is a table table report definition of the class data country so all the rows belonging to the same class why because table contains a multiple rows each and every record is nothing but one page page is also belonging to particular class which class which class data country class now uh, open this uh, flow action inside this flow action this is a section this is a section okay inside the flow action this is a section but now my requirement is the details of the country is what people can do people can achieve uh, details of the here i have used the label here i have used the label so here how can we give the property name for example details of the details of the country uh, dot uh, what is that uh, country country name is for example i am doing like this i am doing like this actually i have mentioned the property now just click on germany what is this siri india what happened but my intention is details of the country dot country name is but uh, this will not work out is there any other way what people can do okay what people can do you know this is a label right again people will use uh, one more label people will use uh, one more label like this uh, details of the country is uh, submit uh, but again uh, people will take uh, one more label i mean i'm just uh, explaining uh, multiple ways um, okay mm, dot country name okay now submit save now click on portugal now the portugal details of the countries i think uh, this is one way of implementation another way of implementation what i can do is cut uh, i'm just appending a paste details of the country is save 
and uh, keep it in a inline like this a, a dynamic layout stack would write inline you have to adjust all this okay details of the country is portugal no issues details of the country is germany again you have to adjust some space again here etc some space here etc but uh, my intention is i want to achieve this using the field value i want to achieve this using the field value not only this one usually uh, see this one uh, if you write a details of the country e something like this so when you define like this or you want to maintain some description uh, in that flow action in that section you want to maintain some description and as per the best practices uh, the value should not be more than 64 characters etc right when you click on say one warning will be generated the record has two severe moderate warnings why because assuming that is my requirement field value details of the country is length exceeded 64 characters etc in that case the requirement is create a field value and also you know right what is the purpose of field value it will be suitable for the localization purpose that is more important so as one of the best practices don't hard code the label values don't hard code the label values you can use the field values which can be useful tomorrow when you implemented the localization tomorrow when you implemented the localization so in that case what about this country name what about this country name so what you can do is okay you are going to implement the field value you are going to implement the field value okay how can you okay country details etc click on create click on create see this is a field value country details what is the field name py caption field name is py caption now click on create and open hello uh, customer uh, the country details are the country detail the details of the country the details of the country uh is something something like this now you can achieve that by using the field value submit but uh, your requirement is you your requirement is you want to display that country name right so i am just telling you uh, this is the only way you must follow the practices but my intention is but my intention is the topic name is dynamic field value that's why i am going in this direction there are multiple ways you can mention the number of uh, labels here one by one and you can achieve that and people will use a different other ways also people will use a dynamic uh, html instead of using this one people will write their own html that is also one thing there are there are multiple ways people will use try to use the data display text data display text people will use a simple paragraph assuming people will use a simple paragraph uh, people will use sorry not paragraph it is not a paragraph mode right it's just as people will use either label people will use a text people will use a uh, text input also text input also i mean to say uh, i'll tell you in the action or in the data capture people will use like this text input here the property name people will use uh, one property etc uh, temp temp property and they will set this temp property value using the flow action data transform flow action data transform and they will set the value what is that value okay the country details is etc so on so on okay For, i don't want to all, do all these things people are getting confusing i hope uh, people some people are getting confused let me tell you so first approach is first approach is as i told you labels okay you are not satisfied with the labels i am just telling you the multiple approaches because in the comments people will put no 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 not only this way we can achieve that as well i agree you all are intelligent because 
there are many ways right we can achieve a single solution i mean we can achieve multiple ways but my intention is i want to achieve through the field values i want to achieve through the field values now what i am doing i just simple label country details open now here see this one field value parameters now i am passing the parameter c name or country name etc your wish whatever the parameter name c name that's it now hello customer the details of the country since parameters are in one by one if you want you can add n number of parameters but if you want to mention or refer those parameters you can select one or two or three etc the details of the country is now c name um, c code and c id etc the details of the country is two comma three like this you can form the field value you can form the field value using this parameters dynamically also now what i am doing country details click on submit save but um, just double click country details right because there are some parameters right you must pass a parameters so what is the c name country name or a country description or a country name now what is the c code country code what is the c id country id like this uh, you can pass the parameters to the field values which is nothing but a dynamic field values which is nothing but a dynamic field values now run this run the scenario country details portugal hello customer the details of the country portugal is 234 comma etc very simple right you can achieve very simple field values you no need to do the data transform you no need to set the values and you no need to do the multiple multiple labels you no need to include the text etc all these things or else you know people what people can design i mean to say the best way we have to use always the best way we have to use always and the optimized way we have to use always uh, some people will do like this also i am not criticizing anyone just i'm telling you the different approaches okay people will use a text input something a py text because there is a ootv properties we can use a lot of ootv properties instead of creating a new properties presentation auto write read only always submit save now in the where is your flow action in the value in the data transform set set val now create data country only right because that primary page is data country now here what people will do dot py text equal to uh, the country details is plus dot country code plus plus dot country description plus plus dot okay i think like this you can add country country name just click on save okay uh, come back to your flow action set value okay now click on run the details of syria see hello customer the details of the country syria is the country detail is 654 etc so you can achieve in this way also i am not blaming or i am not criticizing you are following the wrong practice but my topic name is this is very simple right here you are using the data transform and you are creating the again in the data transform again you are setting one property because if some people were creating another properties also because 
some people are missing the reusability feature some people are creating a new property to set the values that's why very simple way right very simple way you can use the field values and you can pass the parameters to the field values dynamically so that um, see this one with single field value tomorrow even if you can localization is applicable to your project or if client want to change this to the uh, some japanese language or chinese language as also well. the field values we can easily implemented for the localization suitable for the localization i hope uh, you understand this very simple concept uh, dynamic field values in pega see this one field value country details field value country details thank you so much